unorganized, uninformed, just absolutely no idea what they're doing. Richard Meredith spent 20 years in the Marine Corps and another 10 on Wayne County's SWAT team. But the only years in uniform he regrets were on the police force for Wayne County Community College. This isn't me being disgruntled. I quit, I wasn't fired. So I'm not disgruntled. Meredith spent three years at the college's police authority, run by Chief Derek Muhammad. As we told you earlier this month, at least six former employees have claimed under oath that Muhammad sexually harassed them, a claim he denies. Safety is a top priority. But tonight, we're revealing new allegations against the chief about how he used department resources and past criminal allegations levied against him. In 1993, Muhammad was charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm less than murder against his ex-wife, ultimately pleading guilty to assault and battery. Two years after that, his ex-wife sought a PPO against him, saying he tried to run her and her children over, then fired shots at them from his car. When we tried to talk to Muhammad about the allegations, he hung up the phone. Always making food runs. While he was an officer, Richard Meredith said he was frequently taken away from patrolling campus to pick up the chief's lunch. I was um, at the downtown campus, the only armed person. They had me go to Mr. Fish, pick up food, and it turned out it wasn't ready. I was gone 50 minutes, and I told, um, I told them, I said, if something happens at this campus while I'm gone, I'm going to, and they say, where were you? I'm going to point blank tell them. I was on a lunch run for the chief. It was, we learned, a common request. I need you to go get me a pizza, or I need you to go put gas in, you know, in my car, or hey, well, I need you to go and put gas in the chancellor's wife car. Whatever the chief want, chief got. Anita Akbar was an officer for four years and recalled when she was pulled from patrolling campus to watch the chief's house while well, he had a generator installed. Did that seem like a good use of your time? No. I felt like I didn't want to do that, but since you're the chief. Under oath, this former officer says she was tasked with picking up Muhammad's dry cleaning and groceries. In this affidavit, another ex-officer said he was called twice by the chief just to remove women from his on-campus home. Other requests were even more troubling. In affidavits, at least four former officers say they were asked by superiors to change crime statistics or police reports or not write them at all. Richard Meredith recalled an arrest in 2018 when officers responded to an unruly man on the college's Downriver campus. Meredith said he had to use force, pulling the man from his vehicle and then handcuffing him. I got with the lieutenant and I said, I know I need to do a use of force. He goes, no paper, you're good. And I said, lieutenant, I put my hands on him, I need to do a use of force. Uh, nope, you're good, and he um, designated that another officer was going to do the reports. But more than a year later, in 2020, the college was sued by the man Meredith helped arrest, now claiming excessive force. That's when Meredith said supervisors wanted him to write the report they first asked him not to more than a year earlier. They wanted me to backdate it, and I told them I couldn't do it. I got integrity, and there's, there's no way that I could write a report stating this is what happened when I don't even have that kind of confidence in, okay, this is what went on. Meredith's claim is backed up in a sworn affidavit, and so his former officer is Evan Lejeunes, who said his supervisors would change and alter reports and tickets. When they came to me and asked me to change a report of what I saw uh, d during the incident, I wouldn't change it. We asked the college to comment on each of the allegations we've just told you about. They declined, citing pending litigation, but through a spokeswoman said the college looks forward to its day in court when the truth will be presented and this matter will be resolved. Richard Meredith left the college in 2020, but fears the problems he witnessed firsthand still remain. If I could go back in time, I would have never left the Sheriff's Department to go to Wayne County Community College Police. Chief Muhammad says those complaining about him are just disgruntled former employees, but the latest to file a complaint against him is a current employee who's worked in the department for years. Officer Alexis Holmes says she was the victim of sexual harassment, and in a complaint just filed with the Michigan Department of Civil Rights and the EEOC, she also alleges retaliation and cover-ups. The college denies the claims and would not comment further. Dave.
Ross, thank you. Now, if you have something you'd like the seven investigators to look into, you can reach them at the number on your screen or by e uh, emailing them at tips at wxyz.com.